We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings, greetings, greetings in the wonderful, precious, holy name of Jesus. It is Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here and I'm so happy to be with you today. It is another day that God has given us and it is another day to live to the fullest. My dear friend, the title of my message today is Do You Know Who You Are? Do you know who God has created you to be? Or are you just going with what people say you are? Or who they say you are? You see, your name isn't you. Your physical looks on the outside isn't you. Your body isn't you. It's just a vessel. The question is, who are you? Who is the person of you? That is who you are. The Bible answers this question. In the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 27, it says, So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God he created them, male and female he created them. So, you are who God says you are. Created in God's image. You are who you are and it's not defined by your looks. It's not defined by what people call you or who people say you are. It's defined by who God says you are. And you are special. You are the person of you. This is why when you look much deeper and you understand that everyone has two things that happen in their life, a time when they are born and a time that they leave and go and be with the Lord. And you will notice at the times when people have left to be with the Lord, the body is almost empty. It is like a tent. It's almost as if you take off a coat and you put it on the shelf, on the coat shelf. It will stay there until someone moves it and puts it somewhere else. In the same way, you cannot be defined by how you look or by who people say you are. Or by the outside but you are defined by who you are on the inside who God created you to be who God says you are you are a child of God and you are made in his image embrace that fact today embrace that you are a child of God and you are victorious in all that you do born to win born again of water and of spirit and God is with you God loves you God will never leave you he will never forsake you he is with you receive his touch and receive his guidance even today receive who God says you are the Bible says you are fearfully and wonderfully made. So the person of you, your personality, who you are as a spiritual being, who has a body and a soul, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. And God makes no mistakes. We are all special in our own way. We all have our own gifting. We all have our own calling. And it's up to us to seek and search God. And when we find Him, to follow Him, 
He will reveal to us the bigger picture and what our purpose and reality in this realm is. The grace of God is sufficient and by the grace of God we will make it through. Do you trust in God? I encourage you, stay close to Him. Draw nearer to God and God will draw nearer to you. And God will show you great and mighty things which you know us not. Sometimes friends can turn on you. Brothers, sisters, family members, they can turn on you. I've seen instances even when parents can turn on you. But God will never turn on you. He can be your best friend who will never let you down. Stay close to God and build your relationship with Him. Build your relationship with Him and He will take you up. The grace of God is sufficient in all seasons and by the grace of God, you will make it through. Seek Him and receive as He shows you who you are. You are not defined by what the world says you are. You are not defined by what people say you are. You are not defined by the rejections you faced. You are not defined by the failures you've had in your life. Everyone makes mistakes and everyone fails at some stage or another. But what matters is that you get up and you keep on going. The grace of God is sufficient. Receive His grace even today as we pray. Let us go into a time of prayer. We're going to begin by praising God for a few moments. And as we discern His presence, then we'll begin to pray. And I trust and I believe God is going to bless you. In saying that, let us begin. Father, we praise you and we thank you. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you that you don't leave us helpless. You don't leave us alone. You speak to us and you guide us. You show us the way. And you are guiding us even today. Lead us and guide us in the way that leads to life. And bless us mightily. Body, soul and spirit. Thank you for the people you've placed around us. The people we get to do life with. Thank you for you. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who completed the full and finished work of the cross to save mankind. And whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. We give you praise and we thank you for this. In Jesus' name, amen. My dear friend, now as we begin to pray, I encourage you, comment and agree, connect in faith, believe and receive. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Wherever my dear friend has taken on an image that is defined by their rejections or by who people say they are or by the wrong means, speak to my dear friend on their heart and show them who they are and who you created them to be. Wherever there's hurt and pain, bring healing. Bring wholeness. Bring reconciliation. And help my dear friend to go to a greater glory and a greater level. I ask this in Jesus' name. And I thank you that you never leave us helpless. You never leave us alone. You speak to us and you guide us. You show us the way. And you are showing us the way even today. We give you praise. For my dear friend is fearfully and wonderfully made. And you make no mistakes. You create us just in the way that you make us. And for each and every one of us you have a divine plan and will. And you have a great plan for my dear friend who's watching this video. And life is worth the living because you live. Because you live, we can press on 
and look forward to tomorrow. You are the God who speaks and you live. Bring a divine change and a love and an acceptance in my dear friend's heart for whom you made them to be. I ask this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. God bless you, my dear friend. God be with you. May God's peace just blanket you right now. The peace that surpasses all understanding. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. God bless you. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.